So my machine updated to the beta 315. It did recognize my beta um, subscription, which I was wondering whether it would or not. And this is, it is slightly different to the Remarkable 2. But it said I've got another update, so it may not be anything because what happens is, you know how you get 3.15 point, the, the digits after that change if there's small edits and tweaks, obviously they get feedback from the, the other, all, all of our machines and then they make uh, improvements to it. So sometimes an update doesn't mean anything's changed that I can visibly see. It just means that they're improving that particular 3.15. But I just thought I would show you, um, oh, show you that because that's for a coming update. Hang on. I've actually got some more thoughts now since I've been using it. I haven't been able to put it down. That's the truth. And stay on focus, stay on task, Martine. Hang on, <laughs> settings. Where am I? I'm now on this. Uh, that's not going to work with it. This is the Remarkable. That's the Books. I actually love the Books. I actually find them both very similar. This doesn't have a rubber, but the feel and the hum, everything is so similar. Um, I wanted to just show you the release notes. So this is the release notes for the 315 on the Remarkable 2. And you can pause it and read it if you want, or you can go and look at the video. I did a, I did a you know, a short video. Um, and this is the release notes for, let me just move little girl over, because all of my devices are little girls, okay? Because that's just how we roll in the family. No. Um, okay, uh, so you can see that the 315 here is just a slightly different perspective, but it basically is very similar. Um, the shader pen, it, it doesn't mention um, because it came out with that, and I'm guessing that's why they created the shader, to take advantage of all the colours. Makes sense, doesn't it? I mean, that would be the smart thing to do. Uh, the shader strength in numbers is about the passcode. That's still applicable to the Paper Pro. And the all-in-one use the selection tool to draw a line and hold. That is there too. So that was the first thing that they mentioned. So two of them are there. The shader tool is not. Getting started, newcomers can learn how Remarkable works by completing a simple welcome notebook after setup. Now, I don't recall that happening for me, and maybe it's because I wasn't brand new to Remarkable. I already had a my.remarkable.com account, and it was syncing. Maybe that's why. I'm not really sure why, but I didn't get that, but that's great. Um, a simple welcome notebook. Yeah, it would be nice to see what was in that so that I could perhaps show some guidance. But anyway, that's really cool. Um, that, so I just want to show you that because now I'm going to see and check... Now we're going to go back here and I'm going to check. See here it says tap to restart device to complete update. I'm just going to do that. And while I'm, oh, I'm, I'm on the wrong pen again. This is the thing about all the pens. Look, I've got the Apple pen. So that's an active stylus. This is an active stylus, just like this is an active stylus. But they've changed the technology just a little bit so you... You, well, maybe not just a little bit, maybe a lot, but you can't interchange them even though they're both active, capacitative pens. All right, uh, let me move that to the side. I want to see whether they've said here, um, because I turned automatic updates off um, just so that I can work out when to update it and video it, right? So that's why I did that. Let us just go back and look before I turn it back on the other one. Hang on. Go back in here. And come back, come back. Yeah, so it's three, still, oh, so hang on. Maybe it's not beta update anymore. Yeah, no, it's still beta update. So you can see this is one of those examples when um, they're just changing some I don't know, coding in the background, some of the software that that we don't see, but it improves everything. So 3.15, 2.1. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. I could be wrong. Yeah, well, 3. Oh, no, it's not. It was around the other way. I think it was 1.2. Ah, ha, ha, ha. 
But let me just see. Let's check for updates once more <clears throat> and it'll say it's up to date. Let's see what happens when we turn on the Remarkable 2. We check for, again, that pen isn't going to work. <laughs> Get this one. Oh, yeah. So see how it's 3.15, 2.1? This is 3.15, 2.1 5, as well. So let us, I will show you. I don't think it's going to look any different, but I'm just going to show you for the sake of it because if you are interested in the differences between the two and whether it's worth getting the second one or whether it's which one you get when you want to, if you want to buy the first one, then this information is really handy to have. All right, let's look. It's nearly done. I'll move that to the side. Oh, sorry, I've got cords. I've change my orientation and I'm just um just takes me a minute to get it all sorted um okay so that pen is with that one this pen is with this one installing and then it's going to ask me to restart we'll just wait for that so tell me what you use your what you want to use or what you are using your remarkable for it really helps me make content because I don't always know what problem you need to solve or what perspective. There's so many. I mean, it's such a detailed situation, right? With every every person has a different way of using their device, surprisingly enough. Here we go. Tap to restart. I'm going to tap that and let's just wait for it to restart. This screen will all disappear because every time it... Oh, hang on. That's interesting. Wait a minute. Yeah. Well, we'll just let's see. Let's see if the um, screensaver is still there. Normally it disappears after an update and I have to do it again. I'm about to venture into this one, but they give you some really serious security protocols like everything's going on your device and you no longer will have access. You may no longer have access to your warranty and a few other things if you do anything there. So I'm just doing my homework first before venturing into that but it is pretty boring without some screens in my opinion just my opinion all right paper tablet is loading won't be won't be long it'll be there there it is don't you love do you know what i love i love how everything's mirrored and this is this is what i'm about to do a record a vlog about the ecosystem and your expectations in that ecosystem. So uh, it's on a vlog. Yeah, whatever. Okay, let's go down to settings. Let's go to software. So it's now the same version. And let me look at the release notes. Let us look at the release notes. So, yeah, so you can see nothing's changed. But what they've obviously done in the background is improved from the feedback and the information they get from the tablets of a beta tester. They have... I obviously tweaked the software somewhat and made it better. So that does happen when you're in beta. You will get, it'll say there's an update, but yet it'll look like nothing's changed. It's actually just because they've um, improved the software from the feedback. All right, just wanted to share that. Um, any love on the channel is always appreciated. Say hi below. Let me know how you're doing and um, I'll see you in the next one.